Let me turn the volume down. I'm watching movies and stuff. Just making a video of uh, this thing I bought for quite a decent price. I think I I think I did the right choice. I bought it for what a hundred. It came to around hundred and fifty dollars. This is the. 2010 Hasbro uh, Luke Skywalker from uh, A New Hope uh, lightsaber, and you might you might say this is just an ordinary looking saber. You could get any any of these years that have gone by from Master Replicas or something, but this one is the removable blade version, and they don't make them anymore. This was the last. Of the removable blades from Hasbro, uh, I think, and it's a signature series, so that has some significance. I'm not sure. I mean, only the removable blade for Luke uh, came through the signature series line, uh, so that's why it's a signature series. Because if you want the removable blade, it makes a little snap noise when you take the blade out. Pretty cool. I absolutely I'm in love with this because I've, I've owned I uh, just wanted to tell people something about it because I have been I've only owned the 2007 Luke uh, which I have right here I took the blade out and I re-engineered it to have a, a D sub connector in there and I can reinsert and take the blade out I took the batteries out so it doesn't really make any noise now I'm gonna have to, you know, make some repairs on this, but I have a fondness for this. Comparatively, I mean, they pretty much come from the same factory. Uh, they're identical in size. You can take the cap off the end of this one and put it into this one. There's no real difference there. Like they, they really came from the same factory. These are either three years apart. But there are some made some 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 small differences like the back part here has a different type of connector uh, size to it uh, I don't think anything else is different than that but yeah the, the size of this is different it looks different because they had to make it different for this one because you can actually screw this off and take it out so when you don't have a blade in it's just gonna make this noise I suppose that's a funny little feature. As far as the other things go, I don't know. These these parts look pretty much the same. I don't see a massive difference in all of this. You could probably even take them apart the same way. But you have no reason to take this one apart. This one's actually good. Finally, they came up with the idea of just just doing it properly. This is how all of the lightsabers should be. There should never be a lightsaber that they release that you can't, you know, take the blade out and just wear it on your belt as a prop. Only thing is that the uh, center eye thing is missing. I'm gonna put that in myself because I have I'm gonna have an extra one after I do the next purchase of a saber which I'm, I'm, I'm working on I'll get that going so I'm gonna showcase how the blade goes in and give a preview of what it looks like it's gonna make a little noise when you finally connect there's like a button press when you put the blade in I, I saw the video say that when you click it in and turn it, now this does not turn, you just have to slide it down all the way, so it'll make that noise. I'm not quite sure what those videos were mentioning about that, uh, having to turn it. Maybe it was a different version I was looking at. I don't know. So getting this thing to line up to the hole, it is what it is. It's like... See, in that instance, it didn't really work that well and didn't line up, so I had to push it a little harder. As far as how this thing connects, you're not inserting plug. The uh, thing has, you know, exposed uh, 
connectors at the bottom and they will eventually go down and hit the uh, other side and it will be just that's a very smart thing to do because this one here that I invented to get this lightsaber to connect to the bottom I had to do a lot of dremeling to get it to not have any sharp edges so it wouldn't just hit against the other side and I've gotten it down to an exact science because I've, I've been doing it for so long now I can I can get the blade in but it's still kind of a, a, a sketchy thing to do so this one they said okay there's no exactness to it just slide it down slide it down hit it hard that's it and then lights up probably looks very good on camera as far as brightness and the reality I'm using old batteries to be honest so these are the batteries that the guy sent this thing with so this thing has not had any kind of you know, special new, new fresh batteries uh, other videos have mentioned that there's a kind of darkish spot in the middle here and you know it's there I can see it in this one so that's a factory thing some sort of manufacturing defect it's hardly noticeable it's like only reason I'm even noticing it is because of that video said it was there and it is and I don't I, it's a it's 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 a plastic thing actually the LED is working fine but something situations where the plastic is a little bit overly thick in this area for some reason that creates that illusion of a, of a dark spot all of the LEDs are working fine there's nothing wrong there it has all the it has, it has a sensor for clashing so we're gonna feel we're gonna test that out the clashing is definitely a different they use different sounds for this saber obviously I think that's what people like about the old 2007 because uh, I see these ones on eBay going for quite a price uh, and I'm wondering why that is why is the old why is this old ass this is a 2007 saver that's 12 uh, years ago I bought it way back then I went to Toys R Us I think I don't remember exactly when I bought this saver it was probably 2200 uh, probably 08 because they were trying to get rid of them and I think sometime around 2008 I bought it because they had a bunch of them at Toys R Us and they were like they didn't they weren't selling at the high prices they usually sell them at so they wanted to get rid of them so there was a there was a massive discount they usually these savers go for like a 200 to $180 or something like that so I caught I got mine for like 80 something dollars back then you know uh, the first one I got had a, a bunch of dust contamination inside of the blade so I owned two for a while anyway I had one the first one I bought and I opened it up the package looked at it and I was very happy with it until I discovered there was some sort of a you know weird stuff inside of the blade something got loose in there and, and it was just you turn the blade on and it has you know obvious dust in it and things like that so I mean I took it back to the store and I got a different one and that's the one I have with me right now today I uh, you know unfortunately I messed up when I designed and built this thing if anybody's watching this you are gonna go to you know be very careful when you're dremeling on these things is it's just scratch city if you ever get you know too close to the aluminum and uh, yeah I mean from far away you wouldn't tell what, what's wrong with it but I know what's wrong with it there's, it, it, there's a lot of things I had the option of just chilling out and not trying to go further with the drilling to get the screw head out I screwed up the screw head got stuck because when you try to put a screw into a hole that's not got the uh, the you know the, the, the 
They, they use some special drills to create screw holes. You can put that screw in anywhere and screw it in, and it'll create its own grooves. But I, I you know, I put a screw in, and I just had no clue that the, uh, the screw would eventually have its issues. And it did. And, it, and it, you know, screw heads are not as strong as you might think. And uh, the screw head popped off while the screw was still inside. So you can imagine that was sad to have happen for me anyway. Saver still works. It's still in decent condition, but this whole part here has been massacred. And it's a small part, but you, you, for collectors, my intention was to just turn it into a removal blade saver so I could wear it on my belt. I had no clue this was going to happen where I'd scratch it up and make it a mess. So I'm going to take the bitter pill and buy a whole new, I'm going to buy a broken saver. Some, you know, a lot of these are sold. This, the 2007 Luke is rare, but not as rare as you might think. Just wait a month, a couple months, however long it takes. Somebody somewhere is going to be throwing these out, getting rid of them from their garage because they made a billion of these. So the one that's rare is the one that's in my hand right here. This one, it's the, I caught a, I, I, I threw the money at it because the guy was selling for 150 bucks. If I wanted to buy this Sabre, brand new, he was selling a one that had defects. Uh, somebody tried to take the battery cap off and, and, and unplug some of the wires. And, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's bad, but. I knew intrinsically I could fix that, and of course, this thing's worth five hundred dollars, and people are buying it for three hundred seventy-five dollars on eBay. Anytime it uh, it pops up on sale there, but if you go to Amazon, the brand new fresh ones, five hundred dollars. You know, I can fix. I fixed the the, the it didn't light up because the the battery pack was broken. You can buy a new battery pack. You don't need to worry about that. But the guy just didn't know what he was selling. So I don't, I took the opportunity to buy it. So now this is worth a lot more than what I paid for it. And it works great. And here's the uh, one I had from 2007. I don't know which sound box is the one that's like more accurate to the film. So I don't honestly know that. The blade length obviously is, is different because when I designed this, sadly, there's real not much space to put. You'd have to kind of chop off more of the actual, you know, take a couple LEDs out and move things up if you wanted to shorten the blade. You know, that's not an option anymore, but if you were still building it, and you wanted to shorten the blade, you'd cut the tube down, maybe cut off some of the LEDs at the top, and then slide everything up. And it would still work pretty much the same. So they do have different sounds. This one is louder to me, although I, I'm going to guess that the, the real problem is the lack of battery power. You know? That just turned off. That didn't even scroll, so that's weird. I guess it scrolls faster. This one, you know, and then this is a sound effect from Return of the Jedi, the scrolling effect. So, or it might be from NH. I'm kind of having my issues with that. It sounds like the scrolling effect from Return of the Jedi when Luke's lightsaber turns off so that much higher pitch I think yeah, this one's a lot more sounding like the one from when Luke was in the Millennium Falcon training with the, the, the remote they, they've used the return of the Jedi scrolling effect for this saber so Even that sounds like the Return of the Jedi one, so. 
I don't know what their priorities were when they designed these sabers. Uh, did they were like, let's just make money, or did they say, okay, let's get it right? Of course, this is the Hasbro saber. A lot of, uh, I haven't gotten into it because I'm just not going to try to read every freaking thread, every freaking thing said about it, and go that deep with it. But apparently there is some concerns with how Hasbro's handled the license from Master Replicas. And, uh, you know, they've been doing some, 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 some very curious things with them, uh, people have been writing about. So apparently the sound is something that, that's, that's wrong now, you know. And uh, they changed some things. I don't remember what they said was particularly changed. Uh... I'm going to get a new Saber soon in the mail, I think. Uh, the auction I thought was going to bottom out at $69. Somebody pushed it to $88. i am willing to throw $101 at it. But if it doesn't sell, I am very satisfied with this Saber right here. I bought... My intention was simply this. And I'm going to end this video because I don't want it to go on forever. But my intention was simply I want to have... A saber I can wear on my belt and eventually, you know, for the rest of my life, be able to have a lightsaber display like, like, like just to prove who I am, my soul. And I look like Lando Calrissian and I, I discovered the Star Wars films and everything seemed to make sense about that and who, who you know, what, what has culminated over the many years I've been in the Star Wars. So... I wanted to represent that through having the actual replica of the Luke Skywalker saber from A New Hope. And, uh, you know, I think it's a smart purchase. Uh, because now, it, it, the point is, they're never going to make this again, or they haven't. They should be making these. If they made... I guess this will be valuable for a while until they do come out with a removable blade uh, a &H saber because, you know, you can find the Empire Strikes Back saber removable blade. Uh, essentially, any blade they've made concerning Force Awakens or a new or Last Jedi's saber is easily something you can modify a little bit here and there to turn it into an Empire Strikes Back uh, version um they've changed that ever so slightly movie to movie but though i don't know what's particularly rare in the effect savers but this one is definitely rare because they just they made it people bought it of course i'm reading about how people at the time just a year later after they started manufacturing these were able to get them for like 129 and 30 dollars that's the thing about collecting and, and that we don't think at the time this thing's going to become rare because they made so many and it was just there on the website. You could buy it. That thing that cost $130 in 2011, eight years later, $500, $300. Anybody who bought one of those savers can just go and poof, sell it for quite a bit more than they paid. I got this for 150 and nobody today will get this saber for $150 at all. That's it. That's end of story. Forget it. So I could turn it around and sell this to another collector. I could try that. I'll have to somehow repair the eye. I don't know if I'll be able to eBay the one of the, the glass eyes off of some somehow. It's a small thing. I mean, ultimately, I don't even think that's that's a note. You know, it's like, yeah, it's not the original eye it was supposed to have, but it's from the same manufacturing company that makes it. Why is that a thing? Mm. So I'm going to leave you now. It's gone on way too long. I do not like making these long-ass things.